How did your mother die? Well, details are hazy, but I know that Adria was obsessed with chasing the arcane. She knew she could never raise a child. Uncle Deckard believes that the madness and horror of her life finally caught up with her. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard, while he did his crazy research. It seems reasonable enough to me. He's convinced that the forces of hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. What did you learn of Adria? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. Do you remember anything else yet? Only that there were surges of light and a kind of pain. You seem unwell. The emptiness gnaws at me. It is a constant frustration. There is no need for that. I will return the sword soon. You and Leah depend on each other. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the lords of the burning hells. <laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Cain. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world, written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. The Herodrim were powerful mages gathered together by the Archangel Tyriel to defeat the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal. They devoted themselves fully to the destruction of the Demon Lords and left behind valuable tomes and teachings. And you are connected to them, right? My ancestor was the leader of the Herodrim, Jared Cain. When the Herodrim died out, their tomes stayed in my family. I was thrilled by tales of the Herodrim as a little boy, but it wasn't until I returned to them as an adult that I realized they contained deeper truths. Tyriel is the Angel of Justice. He has been helping mankind for generations, though he is forbidden to do so in any direct manner. Long ago, the High Heavens and the Burning Hells made a pact as a result of the Sin War that they would not interfere in our world. So Tyriel is bound to his word, even though the demons have broken their pact. The Angiris Council, the Archangels that lead Heaven, almost destroyed our world once to keep the demons from spreading their corruption upon it. If Tyriel were to act directly, it would alert the Council to the demons' activities here and imperil us all. I wish that Leia could live a different life, a more normal life. But alas, such is not her fate. When I pass, there is none but her to continue my work, and the future of this world hangs in the balance. Let's 
see. Rampage in Khazra, dark strangers appearing after a mysterious fire in the sky. Oh, and uh, miscellaneous tomfoolery. Just another happy day in New Tristram. So, what you having today? I can hardly believe it, but the falling star is a man. When Uncle Deckard realized this, he was crushed. I know he was hoping for something more miraculous. I don't know what would have happened to this town without Deckard Cain. That Templar you brought to town may seem grim to most, but I think he's hiding a good heart. I've decided to write an epic poem on the death of the Skeleton King. All I need to do is find out how he was killed. You could ask the one who did it, you know. She's right over there. And give up my artistic license? Never. There's a sword here, we will find it. All must serve the cycle. I expected more! time ago, I revealed that the Khazra, or <laughs> Goatmen, were originally humans until the Vigeri corrupted them. For many years, these creatures were simple and lethargic. These days have ended. The Khazra attacks are widely reported, and the number of fatalities is higher than anything in my records. I have heard the most ridiculous tales about travelers being ambushed by vicious trees. <laughs> it, it is too much. Despite their names, the wood wraiths are not plants, but fully mobile beasts who have taken on the guise of foliage to ensnare their prey. Only a simpleton could be fooled by such a trick. Dark Coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious violence may damn the whole region. I discovered very little during my eavesdropping, except that the word Magda was repeated several times in their chants. Oh well, now I journey to the safety of my home, where I may put these worries behind me. Kill her! We must hurry with the ritual. Magda will be here soon. It's time. Here's the sweet For I will to take what is mine. It belongs to another. Regardless, I have claimed it. I am Magda, and I lead this coven. The shard is mine. Then you have made an enemy. Very well. Let the games begin. Well fought, but you will never possess the next piece. 
It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. I'm glad that fate has brought us together on this path. Why is that? You fight with both honor and ferocity. I know that a pure soul must burn within you. I am returning to town. I recovered a piece of the sword, but members of a coven are pursuing it as well. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. They know where the next piece is. Their leader said it fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leia. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leia, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. Magda's coven is a remnant of an ancient religion called the Triune, that worshipped the primevals as gods. The primevals are gone. Who do they serve now? The last two evils, Asmodan and Belial, remain. And if either of them are behind this coven, then our troubles are only beginning. A most unusual sword fragment, isn't it? Indeed. It feels familiar to me. Though the rest is still unclear. It looks like a weapon for a great warrior. If that is what I am, then my strength has gone with my memory. Such things have a way of returning to us, in times of need. I would like to hear more about your grandfather, the Chancellor. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. He made his choice then. Back at your forge already. Work needs doing. No one is going to do it for me. You were quite upset about Mira. I don't want to talk about my wife. Dead is dead and gone is gone. Do you want work done or not? What 
was once one shall become I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. The attacks may be slowing down, but this town is done, and you know it. Chelsea, how sweet of you to ask. My people, the Vetchen, are nomads, always traveling, looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well for things other than my visions, but everyone wants to know what the future holds. My duty is my future. So serious, just because you're fated to save the world doesn't mean you shouldn't have a good time. Do not question the path you are on. It will lead you through things that will try your very soul, but you'll always have me to talk to. Talking is a waste of time. You pretend you are a rock, but I know the softness you don't want anyone to see. Why else would you continue to come and talk to Miriam? The foul witch waits for you to unseal the temple of the ancients that she may strike. Her master would sacrifice anything to control the destiny of the stranger. I would tell you to be careful, but you wouldn't listen, would you? Hey, come over here. I've got some new things. No one around here appreciates the work I put into acquiring these fine wares. It's not easy, I can tell you that. Stranger next to us. I like you. You know the true quality of my wares, unlike some people. I aren't so different. I have great power within me, too. The only difference is, I have no control over mine. Then you must learn to master it. It's only happened a few times in my life, and only when I was in grave danger. Something rises up from deep within me, and I can't really explain it. Please help! They're going to kill my friend! Thieves are going to kill my friend if we don't do something! Help me break these bonds and see for yourself! Who is this friend of yours? She's just a farmer's daughter, Sasha, but she has a relic that the thieves are after. Where is the relic? I'm sworn to secrecy. Enough of this. Release Sasha and- You actually believe what this scoundrel tells you? Fine, you fools. We'll kill the both of you.
You won't get away from us this time! <laughs> this isn't over. The rest of the Thieves' Guild will find you. My love, I hid it like you asked. Father's grown suspicious of us, but that won't matter once we're married. It won't be long, right? Of course, my dear. Soon we will settle down to a quiet life of tilling the fields and raising brat uh, children. But first, I have to sell this relic. Alas, I must travel away with my friend here to do so. What? You mean to accompany me? Yes, yes. You look like you know a lot about markets. Now, lead the way! Wait! The relic is a fake! Gods, I should have known! You seem like you could use a helping hand, and I sure as hell don't want to stay around here. There you are. for this knowledge. I would have chosen the same. <laughs>
world can abide you no longer. A mighty adversary is before us. I miss Chaldeum. Really? It's such an open and beautiful city. It thrives on trade and new ideas. There was always something new and exciting to hear or see.
I used to love traveling, seeing the world. When the balance is lost, everything changes. Returning to town. And you're betrothed. Betrothed? <laughs> Do I look like the marrying kind to you? By the way. My name is Lyndon. What the tomes say of Alaric and this temple is not encouraging. You must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Deckard told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest and the crypt of the ancients. Within them reside the keys to our sacred temple. The pall of ancient doom hangs upon these woods. Don't worry about me! Are these Alaric's people? No. Ghouls are strong.
A glorious development. When this is over, I spent years exploring places like this with Uncle Deckard. This brings back memories. I too enjoy hunting evil creatures through strange new lands. I was talking about happy memories. As was I. Why would you open an inn? The world is so dangerous. Everybody needs a quiet, safe place to rest and recover. A way station on their journeys. The priest is not the one who opens such places. But they would be of use to us. That's why I want to know. been searching for lost artifacts with Uncle Deckard. That's all of them. Embraces you.
temple is open. Enter and defeat the Guardians within. Although they are my brothers, they will seek your death. the truth. This was a good place. I can feel it. The noble human fought her way here just to die. You are again mistaken. And who is this you bring with you? Adria's daughter? She has power within her. No matter. Your mother will soon share your faith with you. The shard is mine. Fill this temple with their blood! What did she mean my mother will share my fate? Could my mother be alive after all these years? She has every reason to deceive us. Do not listen. And what is the power within you that she spoke of? This fight was too easy. She's toying with us. We must get back to Uncle Deckard right away. The world stone has been changed. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power, but instead turned them into misshapen creatures and sent them to war against us. We may die, but not before she is sent back to the burning hells. I am returning to town. Peace is safe, but I do not know where the last one is found. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. That must be worth them. Ah, brilliant, dear Leah. Have the ferryman take you there. Why is this coven after your sword? I cannot say. But there is something about them, a darkness, that is known to me. Strange. The coven may be part of a greater evil. Perhaps I intended to fight it. You'll need your sword for that. Dug out some interesting things on my latest dig. You should take a look.
Dearest Heydrick, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. Our time together meant more than words can say. But in the end, fate is a cruel mistress. Your strength is needed to end the horrors that beset this world. My final wish is that you find your path. Love always. Mira. Tell me of your father. My father was a diplomat. We had a manor in Chaldeum with servants, terraces, all of that. Everything changed when the trouble started. Somehow, rumors spread that my grandfather was responsible for the king's madness. My father's work fell apart. No one would speak to him. He kept believing it would blow over, though. But it was not to be. No. I'd rather not talk about it now, if you don't mind. I've work to see to. Don't you miss me? Just a little? Where are you from? Kingsport, the city by the sea. Home to the great merchant fleets and endless nets of reeking fish. And your trade? I am between jobs at the moment. Dishonest jobs, I'd expect. Nonsense. I am the most honest thief you will ever meet. Wanted. One relic. Scarlet, roughly the size of a man's fist. It was stolen two months past during a deplorable theft from the Merchant's Guild Bank. Those apprehended were not in possession of the item. Uh, the relic is greatly missed by its rightful owner, or who offers a reward for its safe return. How can you waste so much time pursuing women? Waste? Time is scarcely better spent. No. You still lack companionship, even now. I've only found one worth keeping, but she slipped away from me. What happened? I'd rather talk about the ones I caught and didn't want. I have some new items that I'm certain you'll love. Oh, there she goes again. Were I not a happily married man? Vile things transpire even as we speak. I see a town in flames and an old friend paying the ultimate price to reveal the truth. I already know this. Oh, do you have the sight as well? You will say no more, will you? I seek passage to Wortham. I will take you. 
But beware, smoke rises from the village. They're destroying the town! Get out while you can! By all that is holy, the town is burning! <laughs> 